<laughs> okay, hey, Poppy, the question could be one of the most emotional and overwhelming moments in any guy's life. And today, one man is going to do it right here live on AM Northwest. Jeff Trincy has been dating his school teacher girlfriend, Tara, for two years. And today, he's in her classroom, and he's going to ask her to be his wife. But before we go back to Kara and learn, we, we, want, we want to learn a little bit more about Jeff and the woman he hopes to spend the rest of his life with. And it was just really, it was the first relationship where it actually kind of started out as friends and really grew to be more. I mean, the, the other relationships always have their, you know, their ups and their downs, but um, I just, with each big decision, there's just always been this overwhelming peace, you know? Like, God just put this, this peace in my heart for, this, her personality is just so warm and it's so fun. We have such a great time. We both love to dance and just feel so comfortable around her. I think... It was probably, if I had to say, a, a moment when I really, really thought, yeah, this, this is it. I think it was the first time that I thought about not being with her for the rest of my life. And I think, gosh, you know, I, I, I can't. Uh, that's just, it was a part of me. It was just, I felt empty. You know, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't be without her. And we should, like, write, you know, a letter or a poem or something to each other. I'm like, yeah, that, yeah, that'd be kind of a good idea, you know. So when I'm actually reading the poem, she'll be, if we, you know, play that whole scenario, she'll be thinking, oh, it's part of the Valentine's thing. So I'm thinking, even at that point, she may not know what I'm gonna do. I'm thinking to myself, oh gosh, <laughs> everybody's gonna be watching, and uh, and my parents, I told them as well. Uh, I said, hey, you know, Tara Fy, Tara's class is gonna be on TV, and trying to get everybody, you know, that I know to to watch and be aware at least that something is going on, um, and then. Pleasantly surprised, hopefully. <laughs> what a sweet guy. I, I suppose, yeah, a brave guy. This yeah. is going to be scary. Let's go back out to Kara now. Kara, we've, we've learned a little bit more about Jeff and Tara, and she still doesn't know that he's there for this. She thinks he's there to help in the classroom today, huh? That's right. We're here in the first grade classroom of Fir Grove Elementary, and Miss Garretts is the teacher. Hello. Valentine's Day is always exciting for the kids. Oh, yes. Very exciting. What do you have planned? Well, at the end of the day, from 1.30 to 2.30, we have a big party going on, and the kids get to give out their Valentines, and we have these teddy bear Valentine holders we've made. So these will be hanging on their desk, and they'll be passing around Valentines, and then we have a scavenger hunt around the school today, our classroom very does. So fun. it'll be very exciting. All right, I'm going to talk to some of the kids. I know you have them involved oh, in I a do. little craft. Yes. Go what are you ahead. making there? Um, we're making um, stuff for the, our food for the party. It looks like placemats. I like your placemat. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. All right, Valentine's Day here at the school. I like your pink outfit. Did you decide to wear pink on Valentine's Day? Yeah, because it's a different kind of color that, like, matches with Valentine's. Well, I like how you put the dress with the jeans. It's very cute. What's your favorite thing about Valentine's Day? Because, like, you like it. It's um, t telling you how much you like people on Valentine's and because you're like so a big cute party. You're very sweet. Thank you, Macy. Have fun today at your party, okay? Let's come on over and see how this table's doing with their placemats. Kylie, I love Kylie. She has, you have the same name as my sister. It's a very pretty name. Who do you love on Valentine's Day? Um, everybody. Everybody? <laughs> yeah, I bet. All right, everyone working on their crafts, wave to the camera, everyone wave to Tom. Hi. Say happy Valentine's Day. Hi. Valentine's Day, what's your favorite thing about Valentine's Everything. Day? Everything. Everything? What are you going to be doing today? Um, getting up, doing a party. Doing a party? Very fun. All right, first grade class. You know, we actually have one boyfriend showed up today to give his teacher <laughs> roses on Valentine's Day. So I have to say, you're a very sweet boyfriend, <laughs> bringing flowers and... Everyone should take notes, so you're going to treat her nice tonight, right? Yeah, yeah. I, uh, dinner, you know, I brought the flowers, and uh, actually, I did, I did write a poem, too. Yeah. You wrote a poem? Yeah, I did. There I you did. go. Dave, did you write a poem for your wife? Do you have your poem? We have a couple minutes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> should we pull out the poem, you guys, to read? Yeah. Do you want to hear the poem? Let's hear the poem. Pull out the poem. Okay. Do you really have it in your pocket? I do. Very nice. Yeah, right here. I've just, All right. you know, I've been working on it, and... <laughs> Poor guy put you on the spot. Okay, <laughs> here it comes. Uh, a poem to you. There's a certain word that offers meaning to so many stories. Without it, no hope or faith would remain. It can fill the heart with emotions only some will understand and few ever fully achieve. It's true that many attempt to embody the entire meaning of this word, only to see it come and fade. Throughout life, Vows will be made to adhere and sharing its essence with one special person. 
Does anyone actually deserve it? The answer is beyond us. But sadly, we often choose the closest alternative. Still, a simple truth will always remain. Each of us is given a choice. At one precious moment, my journey had already begun. In some way, it seemed having a choice wasn't even an option. Truthfully, describing it would bring no justice, for its meaning is too precious. It is on the eve of this second that I choose to share it. Don't be misled. My vow is no different than those given by the most inspired individuals. There's simply a series of words that convey true emotion. It's only through my expression of them that it becomes real. As I capture thoughts of you, I gaze in the sky and whisper a smile, an intimate conversation with life's true blessing, telling of twirls and dips, sharing life's little silly stories, listening to the sound of your voice after a long day, watching your imagination jump into different characters, singing a great song and anticipating your new verse, and especially the way I just can't be close enough. It's this happiness that fills my soul. For the life I live meets here in your arms. And to everyone who seeks and finds this reality, may they walk hand in hand forever. Tara Janae Garretts, I love you with all my heart. I know God has brought us together for a reason. Will you marry me? Yes. Vicariously through Tara oh and Jeff. Oh my gosh, you want to show off the video? Yes, I'd love to. Congratulations, wow. some oh congratulations. We're very excited for them, Kara. Thank Tell them thank you. Sweetest couple, yes, yes. congratulations. Thank you. And we, and we want to mention, too, that uh, they're going to go on a romantic Valentine's. They're going to have a romantic Valentine's dinner tonight at Bush Garden Restaurant. They've decided to treat them to a Valentine's dinner there to celebrate the, How nice. their engagement. And she said yes she right away. She said yes. I was really worried uh, because that poem was just long enough to celebrate one, a one-year anniversary. <laughs> uh, but it was perfect. What a nice touch. That guy. What a sweetheart. Women, women love that, don't yes, they? Yes, yeah. we do. Well, very nice. Absolutely. All right, well, congratulations. <laughs> 